Okay, Unit 7, Copyright and Your Project. Let me see what I can come up with as I give you some comments about copyright. And so, of course, the place to begin this week is with Rosenzweig's textbook chapter, Chapter 7, Owning the Past, which is really an outstanding overview of the history of copyright and how copyright law has changed in the last century to become more and more protective of authors' rights to profit from their work. And this has, of course, made it much more difficult for the general public to benefit from public domain works, works which have entered the public domain and are now free to be used by the general public and everything. And so I have a couple sites there that you can look at, which are kind of like the legalistic view of copyright and um, what copyright involves. And then you can also look... Why is my screen so big here? I don't see. Let's get back to this. All right, so here are my notes for uh, copyright. Um, and uh, I have some really important websites that you need to look at for this week, especially the Fair Use Tale, which is a magnificent YouTube video uh, done using Disney clips to talk about what copyright has done and everything. Um, and what I like to take away from this week is that copyright restrictions are a real problem for historians. Um, especially if you're doing history from 1945 to the present, most media from that period, uh, magazines, newspaper, images, video, is really off limits if you're going to be trying to do anything on the web because all that stuff is protected by copyright. And so, for example, if you're, going to, if you're writing some, if you're doing some sort of web project on the 1960s and you know, most of the music of the 1960s is under copyright protection. Most of the imagery of the 60s is under copyright protection. Uh, so it's really hard to do anything meaningful on the web because of those kind of restrictions. I try and be as as uh, as broad, broadly interpretive of a fair use of the ability of historians, scholars. Uh, to use materials for educational purposes. Um, what I'm always trying to be careful about is to cite and credit any works that I use when um, creating something on the web. And so, for example, I have this image that I've used. It's not one of my images. It's somebody else's image. Uh, but I do credit the author. Uh, usually I find these images on Flickr or other uh, public public picture photo sites uh, and one of the things I found out over time is a lot of times uh, these images actually disappear and so uh, these people who uh, who who took the picture they might take it down from that public site and everything and so at some point in time this link might get broken and then I'll just have the, the the photographers there uh, with the picture but I still won't have a link there and everything um, also when I use uh, let me see this isn't a good example um, this one here that my site on Tolstoy and and history uh, sometimes I will use a long prose excerpts and um, I try. I always cite the source of the the prose excerpts. So here you can see the links and everything. And these links disappear over time too. And so um, what then I'll do is I'll put you know um, access link and then the link HTTP blah 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 on such and such a date and everything. everything. Um, so copyright. There's two important things to remember about copyright. Most of the <laughs> Almost all the materials from 1923 to the present that have produced, been produced in the 20th century and now the 21st century are under some sort of copyright restrictions. Now, the exceptions are materials before 1923, um, 
There's also exceptions to certain European countries, particularly those of the Eastern Bloc, which did not ratify uh, international copyright restrictions treaties until 1970 or 1971. And so most of the materials, for example, produced in the Soviet Union before 1970 enjoy no copyright restrictions. Not that it really helps you and everything, but that's something to know and everything. Uh, the other thing about copyright restrictions is that not everything that was published remained under copyright limits. And so some for some published works, copyright has expired. Sometimes it's a little difficult to figure out um, the, ca the case of that and everything, but it's out there. Um, the other thing is that's a little, little bit more problematic is the case of, for example, newspapers that were published but have since gone bankrupt and ceased publishing. Um, and so whether those materials should still be considered under copyright restrictions, they probably are. But I'm guessing that they might not be too. But I'm probably wrong on that and everything. Um, so that was the number one thing about copyright. Again, uh, almost everything in the 20th century is, bit, is under copyright restrictions. And almost universally, all materials from 1945 to the present are under some sort of copyright limitations on use and everything. But on the other hand, since we're operating in an educational environment, we're not operating in a for-profit mode, and we are using just pieces of materials with fair use guidelines, I think you can get you can kind of get a, away with use of a lot of materials in on the web and everything, but you're still going to have problems, particularly with photographs and video and everything. And uh, one of the things, let me see if I can find it here and everything. Yeah, it's a nice picture of an old uh, French newspaper from the early 20th century. Um, Gilgamesh notes, copyright. Uh, I think it was this one here. Let's go back. Um, you want to read about the copyright, this really kind of a sensational copyright case dealing with Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, which is not in the public domain any longer. For a while it was, but it's not anymore. Um, so that's copyright. Copyright is a problem when you're working on digital materials and uh, digital publishing on the web and everything. Um, you can kind of work around it, but it's a real problem for historians of the postmodern world everything thanks